All right, so I do want to clarify a few certain issues. I do want to clarify in respect to this post here. This is the man who is behind this kind of issue here. Um, sorry, he is behind all these issues. This here is what he is behind. This here. My uncle died once I published previous post. Oh, uh, this is February the 13th. I wasn't going to do this on him because I didn't even know what the fuck to do with this. Uh, I had no idea. I had no idea, really. Believe me or not, I had no idea how I would go about this post, where to go from. It was rather a problem for me, this post. This post really was a problem. This, respect to my uncle, is dead. Uh, I would not know how the hell I would file this issue. <clears throat> I further smell another problem, and the problem was related to a lady from Moldova, whom my father and Borut Fahor employed together in a jail trip. This issue here, I did not correct one, even that I spoke with, uh, even that I spoke with his, uh, it, she was his love few times. I know that for sure. I know that for sure. He didn't lie about that stuff. Uh, but she was not honest. She was honest and she was also dishonest. She was dishonest because I would marry her, and I would not marry her daughter. It's plain and simple. Her daughter is a registered nurse, from what I know. She's in Ljubljana, uh, if it's true, and she should be already married, even with the children, I was told, in Ljubljana, one of the daughters. She does not have a son. Instead, she had four daughters. She told me she had four daughters, and two of them are in Germany, two are in Slovenia, is what she stated me. So, um, I know there is a mistake here posted. Everything else, however, is true. Everything else is factual. And I will insist on that stuff. Nothing really changes. The only thing that changes is that somebody that lied to me in respect to family members, that's a lady from Moldova, who also admitted me during MK Ultra will lie to me to protect herself. She, she, it wasn't about protecting herself, but her mentor. Her mentor is this guy here. This is the guy who made her life possible in Slovenia. This was the politicians through whom they got her to Slovenia. This is Milan Kucha. King Milan Kuchan, Tsar Milan Kuchan, he can do like kings and tsars. Yeah? But he's going to say that he's a communist. Yeah, he is. Of course he's a communist. He just doesn't know where the limits are to the communism and where the limits are to the uh, kingdoms. He doesn't know really the difference. He knows the difference per convenience. But the, the real difference he doesn't know. Um... I kind of expected lunacy like this to try to catch me up, and it did happen. This here is what I dedicated to my uncle. Yes, once I publish this post here, I need to clarify this in details. Once I publish this post here, yes, once I publish this post here, basically, I got a phone call. The phone call was not done. Uh, 
through a cellular phone or something like that, the phone call I have received was literally on the landline. I go to the phone. Hey, it's me, Zdenka. Uh, I just want to tell you that uh, Tone passed away, died. Oh, um, she just wanted to talk to mom, really. She wouldn't tell me. And uh, I, I did go out there to look for mom on a terrace. And uh, mom was just uh, working outside. She was collecting some branches, burning them, walking back and forth. And, well, I relayed her a message. I told her, I'm sorry, but she's outside. And what I can do is I can have her call you or give you uh i asked her do you have a, her cellular number and i don't know what she told me whatever i said i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna tell her she said she just tell her she said and she's gonna call you back and so on and that's basically what i that's what i wanted to do next uh things here are always interesting things are always interesting here disputable about from anybody that the stuff actually we are talking about yeah everything was recorded of course i record absolutely everything i don't uh, i don't play with this stuff the stuff i do is not uh, for entertainment purposes uh, I, I, I would say like mother is not going to pay anything and we'll have people come here to cut all this trees and do the uh, tree service the people are coming gonna, here to do the stuff yeah it's a crazy gonna, stuff that's happening that's basically the way it is i just uh, call my mom uh, i do it again she doesn't answer she doesn't yeah, she doesn't ask answer. what she does is she walks outside in the uh, garden she would it. answer uh, the thing is, I am also not going to go downstairs to have my shoes uh, covered with the mud. It was raining. It's uh, dirty outside. And she does have a phone in her hands, which she would not want to answer. Here it is. I just uh, call my mom uh, right there at the garden. She's walking out there in the garden. I am also not willing to go to the terrace and yell that, hey, mama, it's my uncle that is dead or died or something like that. We don't do this kind of stuff. So I, I did go to the terrace and I asked her if she can come please closer and so on. She doesn't want to do that. She thinks actually that I would go and do something like that. This bullshit comedy is getting... Uh, Really, it's not getting anywhere the way they would want. Scene when I actually called her and she would not answer to me on the telephone. Not on the terrace, not on the telephone. It's all audio. I'm gonna do it recorded. again. So yeah, I started to video record her because it's 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 a crap. She pick up the phone and she hangs the phone down. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, does not answer. Doesn't want to answer. She went behind the house now. I yeah, she, she went over there behind the house so I wouldn't see her. She does again the same shit. The guy is not going to talk to you. I'm not going to E, samo obvestil bi te, da je Zdenka poklicala Auščeva in bi ti želela povedati, da je Tone umrl denes. To je vse. Hvala za telefon, ki si odgovorila. Joj. Aha, joj, ne? Aha, o, oh, ok. De, de, I don't want to go and vomit, alright? I don't want to go and vomit, that's enough of it. That's enough of it. My mom is something else. Um... The police has been barricaded inside of this house for 
since my age 11, since we moved here to Kirka. Uh, that makes a lot, a lot of time, very long time. I'm 52 years old now. And my mind is so certain due to amount of brainwash. We will break you. We will destroy you. Uh, and or what became also uh, frequent uh, for the Poland always uh, we will well, you're going to use the lock you're going to put the bicycle like this it's going to be locked like this it's going to be locked like that and it's going to be locked like this it's going to be yeah. every time I park the fucking bicycle in in front of super, supermarkets anywhere in Poland, they were playing with a chain. Uh, how many bikes have they stolen me? I don't know. Uh, for the father's car, you're going to have a front Viper. You will sit in the car and you're going to see the Viper going on. And you're going to sit in the car and it's going to be the rear Viper going on. You're going to park here. You're going to park in front of the home for elderly, whatever the fuck. It's going to be Viper going on. Uh, me inside of your car. <laughs> uh, the lights the lights are going to be on. Uh, play with the catalytic converter light also. Very, very, very possibly even through the Bluetooth issue. I have to research. We have a camera integrated camera looking at you inside of the car all the time, all the time. Uh, sit inside the fucking car. The front uh, where you sit, the the rug, the sideways. Basically, no fucking problem. Don't see it. Drive it. Boom. Fuck. Boom. In the red light, your leg squeezes or something. Boom, 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 karabosh, boom. Fuck, boom, karambol in Slovenian language. No fucking problem, eh? Sit in the fucking car. <whistles> break pull. You don't know? <laughs> it's a break. Break pulled. You fucked. This is the stuff the police was doing when they were, whenever they were delivering me to the father. Not one, not two, not three, not five, 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 five fucking hundred, two hundred, three, four, five, five thousand times during MK Ultra. Thousand fucking times somebody tells you in MK Ultra to pay attention to something that they start eventually doing that kind of stuff. And my mom believes that I'm going to see ghosts walking inside. What I mean by this is. We destroy you this, we destroy you that, we, you go this, you do that, you, and it's all the time. As you sit in the fucking car, you have the front, uh, the, the mirror set to the, to the night vision mirror. Uh, play with the mirrors, play with the wiper, play with the radio, play with this, play with fucking, you fucking name it. And because of the degree of torture, they exercise inside of this barricaded house, talking about the Slovenian police, now a mess of police, my mother believes that I'm going to continue to see ghosts walking inside of the house. And I was seeing fucking ghosts inside of the house due to severe problems they have created through the poisoning. If you remember my talk about the directed energy weapons. They were not fucking directed energy weapons. But butchery went on inside of the South. And it was indoctrination about the directed energy weapons that I had to endure that went on for over three years. We directed energy weapon, directed energy weapon, you sleep here, directed energy weapon. Every fucking room, every fucking place in the room, whatever fucking room, we measure this, we measure that. What's the best place for you to sleep inside of the house, back and forth? And then all kinds of theories in respect to cancer, in respect to diabetes, in respect to a thousand fucking cardiovascular problems, kinds of stuff. Literally broke me two teeth. Come on, man. Breaking teeth, actually, break your fucking teeth. To prove the point, whatever point is. And yes, that kind of stuff will make you actually see the stuff 
in a total disbelief that's actually your sweet mama that's doing this shit to you behind your back. Because she goes like, <laughs> No, I haven't done that. And if you say, Oh, okay, okay, mom. Uh, then maybe somebody else did. It's immediately, and who else? Who else is going to do it? Who else could it be? Who else could it be? And the answer comes, well, there were investigators in here. There were people, there were neighbors here and so on. Uh, they were getting inside of the house and so on and so forth. And it's like, <laughs> you understand that? It's like, like fucking run you over a thousand times. And it's aggressive. It's not only intrusive and it's criminal. And this is the way it goes. This is the way it goes. Mom, why is the rug again on my driver's seat sideways? She already confessed. She played with it. I am not doing it. I haven't done it. I haven't done it. I'm going to go walk. I will not. Don't take me to father. Don't come to pick me up and so on. Don't even think about asking mama about absolutely anything because you're going to end up your liver when you do. She alone admitted to me during MK Ultra she would be doing this stuff like this to literally drive me insane. Few mamas are that fucking honest. But many people end up on the street, under the bridge. It's, I ended up inside of the psychiatric hospital because of mama like this. Today, the strange behavior she displayed involved her answering me questions once she came upstairs about whether she called wife from my uncle what do they say instead of that i saw your uncle today there was nothing other than skin and bones when i saw one they had him at the luxury department called ida From the audio recording, it's evident that I knew exactly immediately what the scenario was beforehand because I also confronted her. However, I used the year 2016, not 2009. No, it was not even 2011, and I, as I suggested here. I suggested here for 2016. And then below, you can see I corrected to 2000 and 2011, 2009, 2011. Here you can see it. Yes. When they continue to deliver me to this home for elderly people for bestiality, for the torture, at one point in time, they delivered my uncle, who they kept inside of the general hospital Novo Mesto, just according to what my mother stated, Misha, I have seen one today. They had him one month at the hospital, general hospital Novo Mesto, and... Today they have released one, and I didn't have to ask, because I knew, I said, but this is at the same department, at the same floor, where the father is. This Ida, the so-called Ida, luxurious Ida, as my mother stated. What the fuck is the luxurious Ida? Is uh, a lunacy in the heads of the mentally ill Slovenian people. I'm not going to even say 
uh, health workers, uh, physicians, doctors, or uh, staff at home for elderly people, or police, or whatever. I'm just going to say the whole thing as a nation, as a Supreme Court, as a parliament, as a scumbaggery as this Slovenia is. That's the fucking Aida, the luxurious. That's also what I owe to Slovenia. That's my recognition of Slovenia. It's a fucking scumbaggery that in this video here, I mentioned... I mentioned the name such as Adolf Hitler. If you're going to watch this video here, I think humanity came under the real test. I think that God wants to see how much did humanity learn from what happened eight years ago, literally through this case. This is evil that is unprecedented. It's an evil that is unprecedented, and I'm afraid that very little, if anything at all, because it allows shit like this to go on. My video that I started here today, and I published one here, should have been about the watch. If you watch, I was going to finish this video on this delivery, which I got on January the 30th, 2024, and February the 6th. 2024 and it didn't fucking allow me to finish this without being mentally interrupted with more lunacy it was added into this mk ultra bullshit you don't even have to go out of the house to have mentally challenging cretins getting on your way basically what exactly happened with this issue here in 2009, this uncle here was brought to According to my mother account, he was brought to the home for elderly people where my mother would go to visit him. They would uh, keep me inside of this home for elderly people. I told you already. They would sometimes tie me to the bed, torture me, have me lay on the bed for an entire month. I told you about what the fuck went on inside of this home for elderly people and tortured me actively. This is the stuff that went on. Inside of this home for elderly people. Folks, this is very, very difficult for me to video record. Very difficult for me to video record. It's a very, very difficult for me to video record this stuff. Because this stuff is being used to literally murder me. This video recording right now that I'm doing is being financed, paid by the British royals, enforced by Slovenian police, literally, due to these issues here. Right now, when I'm video recording this shit, I continue to feel the pain here. Steroid. Let me demonstrate. I have been complaining about it already for some time. I don't know whether you can see it or not. I don't know if you can see it. You cannot see it. Okay. And uh, it's a very, very problematic stuff that during MK Ultra required eventually even injections injected here so they could deflate the stuff and keep one intact. In meanwhile, in 2019, Slovenian police, since the tooth, they continue to use to poison me through, through the root channels. Is a two right back here. Uh, with the deep roots, would not break off as they planned. And in 2019, they delivered me here to a dentist who was playing with this stuff together with the General Hospital Novo Mesto and have completed the job to the degree that once 
they returned me back to the Poland, the tooth finally broke off. For which they claimed me the problem was big because there was a pus underneath, the tooth should already broke off and it did not broke off. And they have to now do it like this so that it will broke off once they bring me back to Poland. This is a fucking bestiality, my God. This is not fucking human. This is not fucking human. This is, this is, um, uh, I don't have the words. The only thing I'm going to say is I'm American citizenship since 2000, uh, since year 2000. And I've been delivered to United States of America since my age nine months throughout the western europe i was distributed like a cattle since i was age nine months and these people could under no circumstances resolve this problem which they for which they claimed is so big because of the russians they simply could not resolve one and that's a great explanation so this here is the safest the safest solution is this one here they came up to conclusion that the easiest and the safest way to resolve this kind of problem is uh, through the cancer that would involve uh, tumor. Lymph node is what I think it is, uh, but it could be also some other form of Similar problem, regardless of it, when you have the two and that kind of stuff associated, according to their own words, it's just a matter of time before you get cancer. You know what? I actually believe this shit. And when I stress myself right now for what Slovenian police is being paid for, this is the guy who was trained by the Central Intelligence Agency, by the British MI5 on how to murder, empowered by the Germans, by the European Court for Human Rights and European Parliament, you have a very little chances to survive, I believe. I know that these people know all the tricks. They injected me with all kinds of substances, medications, whatever they were playing with. Uh, but I also know that when you get agitated, that it works against your immune system. And uh, it's extremely effective in keeping one at one place uh, with mentally clusterfucked issues like this and have one agitate as much stress one as much as possible. I know exactly what the fuck you're doing. I know exactly where your money is coming from. I know exactly talking about the Slovenian government right now. I know exactly how you get paid for. I know exactly who pays you. I know exactly how you get paid. I know exactly where you get your money from. I know exactly where you got for the last 52 years since the Josip Bros Tito started this stuff. I know exactly how your salaries in Slovenian companies throughout the Slovenia. I know exactly where you came from. I know exactly where every your fucking car is from. Everything you have in your pockets, I know exactly where it's coming from. And I just want to finish this video. I just want to finish and I want to say that this individual, this uncle of mine, who had, uh, he also had two daughters, two of my cousins, um, he suffered something like this, not in 2016, but he suffered something like this in already what was 2009. And this guy was actually my hater. He hated me. He didn't like me. He hated me. And the two cousins I have with their spouses were heavily involved in a torture together with her spouse, with her wife, Zdenka, who called today. That's something that I need to clarify immediately. Nothing went on with his problem that he experienced in 2009 until 2012 when psychiatrist Peter Kapp started to intimidate with this issue, just as I have described in this video here. He first started to harass, not in this video, but in in this video here, right? In this video here. He started, started to harass me how soon after his death because Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch claimed 
soon, if I know, he was always asking if I know how soon after his death, my father was the one who died next. If I know how soon my father died next. You know, my father caused me a lot of problems. I would be very, very cautious about this stuff. Because my father caused, my father ruined my life. I told you about what my father was doing with me. He ruined my life. And so I don't know what the objective of the psychiatrist Peter Kapshir is. What is this guy trying to tell here? What is he trying to teach me with the Slovenian police through this kind of issues? What are you trying to tell me? Are you going to go and you, you're, you're here to do what? You're here to what? To do what? You're here to kill my father? What are you here for, mister? What are you here for, Slovenian police? You want to kill my father or you want to kill me or you want to kill both? What is your objective here? What are you trying to tell me? That you care for my father? You don't give a keep fuck about my father. My father is fucked up already on the bed for over one year. As far as myself, you destroy my life. So what are you trying to tell me? That you care about my father more or that I don't care about my father enough? Or what is it that you want to get from my mouth with this torture procedure? With this killing, with this murder procedure? What is it that you want to accomplish? What is your objective here? This scumbag went on to defend from me to tell him if I know how soon my father died after my uncle died. And basically so then. My uncle, it first started a few months, and then he was reducing to two months, interacting with other people, asking in front of me if I know. He even had his nurse involved. At one point, I actually started to guess. Because it was so many times they repeated me this question, if I know how... How soon my father died? It started with the six months. It went down to, 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 to two months. Eventually, I answered him back, I think, like after one month or whatever. And then he was like, no, no, no. It was after three weeks. And then it was like, after two, two weeks. Don't you remember what we told you? And so on and so forth. What kind of fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is going on here with this stuff? What kind of police the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What kind of police is this? This goes into the area of the police work? Why don't you go out and fucking kill me on the street? Why don't you fucking go? Why don't you kill me on the street? You don't have a guts? You don't have balls to meet me on the street? Come on. You're a fucking big guy. You have a guns. You're big. You have a guts. You have a audacity. You go out there. Meet me on the fucking street and show me your fucking courage. Face to face. Man to man. What's your fucking objective here? What the fuck are you trying to tell here with this here? Look at you the way the fuck you look. You look like a fucking military retarded imbecile. You don't even look like a fucking human being. You look like a fucking dick. You look like a fucking dick. You don't look like a fucking human being. Do you ever fucking see yourself in a mirror? What's your fucking objective about this stuff? What the fuck are you trying to tell me here about this stuff? You're trying to tell me what? The MPR doesn't exist? Good luck to you. You got proof. And if something happened to me, and something was to happen to me with the cancer wise, I am not going to go and cure myself, my friend. I'm 52 years old. For good or bad, I want to see how my body carries on. And I want to pay my dues with my death in this case. You're going to be a William Shakespeare because you're going to write with my blood. Just like Adolf Hitler did 80 years ago, that's why I stated that humanity is on a test. And we will see, based on this case, how much grief, how much pain, how much suffering this humanity has learned from in the past, and how much more humanity is willing to pay and endure. This is like a fucking wild dog. This is like a fucking wild dog that, that, that are fucking running with some kind of issues without allowing me basically to complete the complaint so they could have it their way, so they could get me killed. This is a murder procedure. And it's no wonder it accelerated into the fifth gear through the prince, now King Charles, coming out in a style. Oh, I'm having a cancer now. I'm having a cancer. I'm having a prostate cancer. 
something I well declared, well described about his fucking cancer, how it all went. It was all torture, no fucking cancer. And it was all designed to get me murdered before Prince William would take his chair, basically. Now King Charles wanted to make sure that his precious progeny, Prince William and Prince Harry, would have a new, fresh, brand start, new start, and if that would not work, because they didn't know how the fuck to answer this shit. They already started to ask themselves in front of me, how about the Prince George? What about if it will be the Prince George? They, my God, got fucking ready. They alone were ready to depart with a Kate Middleton and Prince William because of this scumbaggery. That's how big this shit is. This is what these people are running for, from. So I don't know what, what the fuck is the objective with this shit here, eh? with this lying and with this kind of stuff here. Now, I also told you that I don't want to have nothing to do with these death certificates. I told you I don't want to have nothing to do with this. I told you about this stuff already. It wasn't three years that this guy became empowered, certain that he would go and do this to the degree that psychiatrist Peter Kopp started to use. Psychiatrist Peter Kopp started to use this issue in 2012. That's basically once this guy got assured that they would cover his ass in respect to fake death certificate. Whether this is a fake death certificate, however, it's questionable. I am not saying that this is a death, fake, fake death certificate because I don't know even the cause of his fucking death. He could have fucking cancer. He could have fucking issues. And for good and for better, these people here in Britain, they pay so good that when you're old and you have nothing else to anticipate in your life other than pain, sorrow, as well as my I should say, get Slovenian services to literally euthanize you and portray you as a martyr for this comeback that you see right there. He's posing as a British king. So when it comes to this here, this issue here, my uncle, fuck him. I don't know anything about who this guy is. Whether he's having a fake death certificate or is a real death. I don't fucking know who this guy is. I know, for what I know is, he's my uncle, with my assistance that I had to pay through the torture, through the pain and through the suffering, is how he paid for the tickets to Himalaya and to the South America. That's how he got the lodging discounted and everything. All the fuck I know for is what I told you here right now. My mother did not know, understood any, about any of these issues here. She did not know anything about when I asked her still three hours later, what was the cause of his death? What's happening? When is the funeral? The answer was no, nothing. Don't know nothing. So, don't know what the cause of his death was. Whether he had a cancer or whatever it is. This is fucking weird because, like I said, I was not here for 10 years. And my mother stated me she frequently would meet his wife at the local store where they too would discuss about the health issues pertaining to their spouses. Therefore, to my father and to her husband. This is fucking weird. It is this fucking weird talk. This kind of talk is as fucking crazy and weird. As the fucking ghost that my mother believes I will continue to see due to degree, due to amount of physical torture done inside of the house. Due to amount of poisoning they have done on me and to which I have referred to as directed energy attacks. Just as indoctrinated, brainwashed, and so on. So this is what is the fuck is this? This is the science. And now the science is the torture. The science is butchery, is a systematic killing of the person whom you place on a forced unemployment and you absolutely destroy, annihilate, vanish everything he had in his life. Even at his age 52, he used to record video recorders like video videos like this. So there could be some penis looking psychiatrist over there giggling and laughing and collecting what how much do you get paid for this? That's a question to Slovenian police, to Slovenian Parliament, to Slovenia. How much do British pay you for this? How much Germans pay you for this? How much do they want 
for my debt? How much is it paying you for this? How much is the European Union Parliament? How much is the government of the United States of America? Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, George Bush, Bill Clinton, Jimmy Carter is still alive. How much is it paying you for this shit? How much do you get from American administration? You got all kinds of goodies. From police surveillance to the military. What do you get? How much do you get for this shit? How much do you get paid for it? How much to get me killed? How much to get me killed? You used me since nine months of age. Since nine months of age. How much to get me killed? I just want to know. Listen, I don't want any fucking money. I want to know how much you got paid for this. How much money did you Slovenian make through this case? And he goes also to other governments. How much money they paid you? How much did they, how much you guys earn to forget what you have committed yourself 80 years ago? How much? Adolf Hitler was a gift from God. Just as I have described in this video here. This was this was the man who came from heaven. This was the man who came from heaven. And he blessed you with the pain, with the suffering, which is unimaginable. It cost you 50 million of lives. It seems to me that you have not learned a single thing from Slovenia. And it seems to me that you are in need to find more. You need to learn more. You need to feel more. There should be worse, in fact, in this world. Because the lesson you took already is forgotten and is worthless. Watch this video to understand exactly what I mean.